Hello everyone, I'm Jin City Gaming and welcome back to Stardew Valley where today we're going to check the weather report because tomorrow it's going to be clear and sunny all day. No, but uh, really, um, to welcome back today. Uh, I am not sure what we're going to be doing but uh, what we can do is take a look at our farm and see that our, apparently, our crops have grown. Nice. Dear Mike, I saw an article about you on the local paper. It sounds like the country life is a, a good fit for you. I'm so proud of you. Take care, sweetie. Love, mom. Aw, mother sending letters. Nice. No, uh, but the corn has grown for this season, which is always nice to see. It's always good to see that the corn has been growing. Uh, this means that we can actually hand in a bunch of crops in the um, community center just make sure we get everything and also what we should be doing right now is water them since the fact that they otherwise will dry out so let's just do straight let's head straight to the watering okay so all of our crops have been watered with our new speedy watering can uh, let's see all these preservation jars are still preserving we have some hot peppers, we have a bunch of corn, uh, we also have a bunch of um, silver quality corn and two gold quality. Now I do believe that in the uh, fall crops, yes, there is one corn which we can hand in, but for quality crops we need to hand in five corn and we don't have enough corn yet to have them. Uh, we do have two corn and we have four uh, cold star melons. So we are almost uh, actually uh, done getting it. Next season we do have to immediately get some um, pumpkins set up. But if we got the pumpkins everything is going to be a-okay. Everything is going to be fine. Uh, but first we need to head over to the community center. Uh, because we do need to hand in... Um, a bunch, uh, one of these corns. Uh, okay, let's actually just drop one in here and let's sell these ones. Also, the skeletal tail I want to bring to the museum, so we should definitely head over to the museum in a moment. Um, so let's just uh, do a little route, head over to the uh, community center, and afterwards to the museum. I'm also gonna bring my pickaxe because we're gonna go into the mines once more. So let's uh, follow that route. Alright, so we've arrived at the mines. After a quick short uh, run through the entire town. And we've actually, we're actually already at level 55, so we're doing pretty well, I have to say myself. We do have to, we do have a little bit less uh, luck today, but it doesn't matter, I guess. Because we can still get through this, we just have to deal with this ghost that's in here. But he can drop a uh, solar essence, I believe it's called. Actually, this sword does more damage. Damn, it does a lot more damage. <laughs> this sword, we can actually kill everyone. Just got a... Yeah, there's there it is, Solar Essence. So we can actually hand in uh, this next quest in the boiler room, which is this one. And we can probably also almost get this one, because we still need one Frozen tier. And uh, we just need one more Golden Bar, so... We're actually getting close to getting that one. Uh, I'm not sure how we're, how or where we're gonna get a frozen tier, but you just have to see uh, how we're gonna get that. I also have to reorganize my inventory because uh, I don't like the way this is set up. So let's just put you there. Let's place you guys over there. Boom. That's food, and this should be fine. This is how I usually uh, mine. On my first hot bar, a sword, and on the second one, a 
pickaxe. Uh, so let me just dig uh, straight ahead to the next five levels. <laughs>to get to uh, level 60 but sadly enough my energy reached zero and I ended up on level 58 so that's sad but uh, we, we got far not not the furthest I, I expected but we got uh, we, at least we tried I mean our luck wasn't very high it was actually pretty low uh, so we should have probably not went into the mines. I mean, we did get a frozen geode, so maybe if we crash it open, we can get a frozen tier, meaning we can actually finish up uh, one of the quests. But I mean, it's it's fine. It's we'll survive. So let's just head straight to bed and see what we actually made out of all the corn we sold. And what we made was actually level. We actually got a level three mining out of it. So at least that's one uh, more pickaxe proficiency we got. And some minor treat we can actually make. And we get actually a 1500 out of our corn. That's that's not a little amount. That's actually pretty much. That's actually pretty much a lot. But I mean it doesn't matter. Let's just see uh, what our riddle report is for tomorrow. Beautiful sunny day. Okay and the fortune teller says... Very displeased today. Okay, and our life will be made difficult. That's less fortunate, I guess. Uh, we do have some. We do have a tomato that has grown. Uh, we do have to see what we can fit in here. I guess there's not a lot. Okay, so we should uh, deliver the solar essence over to the um, community center, as well as we should organize probably our chests. But I'm not going to. <laughs> uh, no, but we should definitely get the solar essence over to the community center. We should go ahead and water our plants. And uh, maybe we can find some foraging. We just have to see what we can do uh, during our days where we don't have a lot of luck. Because, well, we don't have a lot of luck, so we can't actually do a lot of things. Like, we could try and go fishing. We could just test our luck over there. Maybe it will help, maybe it won't. Uh, I still have the puffer fish I want to catch. So this would be the ideal day to try. So I'm just gonna finish up watering and I'm gonna see you guys down at the beach. All right, so we're down at the beach. Let's see if there's any collectible. Oh, there are a bunch of collectibles out here. Nice, nice, some corals. I also picked up this little sweet pea. And let's get off these birds. Goodbye, little berries. And we should definitely go out fishing. First, I need to organize my inventory a little bit better. Uh, let's get this set up like this. Okay, cool. And let's directly start our fishing montage. <laughs>
I actually knew it was the puffer fish from the moment it started tugging and pulling. There you go. Um, so let's see whether or not... I believe I haven't handed it in yet. It's also gold quality, weirdly enough. We still have the sardine to hand in, but... I'm not sure where to catch it, how to catch it, when to catch it at least. Uh, so that's that. We also have the walleye, bream and eel to catch. I'm not sure where to catch those. Uh, these ones are also uh, a challenge. So I think we should just head straight up uh, next to the... Uh, what's this called? The mines? Let's just follow Abigail. She's heading up there as well. And we sped past her. Let's just stand in our way. There we go. No, but we've got some fishing to do. So let's head straight up in here. And uh, let's continue fishing. <laughs> So we haven't start, caught the sturgeon yet, but we are at uh, 13 uh, energy, so we should head straight back home because we're almost dead. Lion's just sitting in front of a fire with no fire at all, so I guess that's normal, right? No, but let's head straight home. Uh, I see some forageables over here. Let's just collect this up. Boom. And let's head straight down. Uh, let's hand in a bunch of these... Um, the stuff we got, let's hand it all in and perhaps maybe we gain some more money. Ooh, our jelly has been done. Nice. Let's collect the jelly as well. Uh, I believe for right now, so like, yep. Let's just hand all of these in. As well as, the, as well as the iridium quality, maybe coral as well. Yeah, sure, why not. And let's head to bed, see what we actually made out of all of this. Say hello to the doggo. There we go. And let's go to sleep. Let's see. What do we get? Level 4 foraging. Finally. Nice. So we can craft some wild seeds for summer. That's a bit late, but okay. It's fine. And we can craft a charcoal kill. That's also good as well. And we have uh, one up on the wild berry harvesting and the X proficiency. That's always, that's always fine. Always good. Uh, we made some. We made 450 on just the blueberry jelly. Three blueberry jelly and it's already 450. That's nice. This is why we need to preserve more uh, jelly. Because jelly is money. I mean, it's slow money, but it is money. Ooh, we forgot to check the TV. Can't forget that one. What's the re weather report? It's gonna be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Okay, that's cool. And a little extra luck. Finally, that's all I've been asking for this entire time. So let's um, let's just place all of this in here and let's real quickly water this up. All right, our crops have been watered. I kind of want to open this geode, so let's just head down to Clint. Maybe he can find something in it. Maybe he finds a frozen tear. That would be epic. Also, we should definitely fill this preserve uh, preservation jars with our own blueberries. There we go. Let's just real quickly throw these blueberries in here. Boom, boom, boom. We should also take a look if we can have more preservation jars because, well, three of them won't cut it now, will they? Um, so let's head straight to Clint, shall we, to open this geode. All right, Clint, my boy, my dude, open up this geode and amaze me. That's Kai and I, that, that is amazing me. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I guess that is amazing me. Uh, let's open up this trash can real quickly. Nothing in it, of course. Uh, let's hand this in over to the museum. Here's some Kai and I. There you go. And we've got a new reward. My, my. What's it going to be? It's a painting! A night on Echo Hill. Can be placed inside your house. Nice. We're definitely gonna place this inside our house. We're gonna gift it to Vincent. Oh, no. 
No, we can't give a painting to Vincent. But it doesn't matter. Uh, what we're gonna do is we are actually going to go down the mines. I really want to reach level 60 today. Since we uh, didn't do that yesterday. Oh, we found some coke. Some Georgia Cola. Here you go, Abigail. I hope you're hungry with these sweet peas. Sure, why not? Um, so let's head straight to the mines. I want—I really want to reach level 60. And with our extra luck today, uh, we might be able to. Uh, since we might be able to now find um, the path down really quickly. Instead of digging for it for 5 years and still not finding it. But it's okay. It's fine. It's so fine. Let's not eat a sweet pea like Abigail does, and let's head straight to the mines. actually reached level 60 <laughs> and we actually got a frozen tear so that means that if we head down to the community center we can actually hand it in and uh, get our next reward I guess uh, we also got uh, some other stuff as well as a diamond we actually found um, we actually found a ring as well that emits light so that's nice at least Okay, we can still use our sword. That's cool. And it actually emits uh, quite a lot of light. If you take a look at this, like, seriously, I emit a circle of light. And it's not a small circle, it's like a big circle. So that's nice. Um, yeah, so I definitely want to hand in um, the frozen tear. That's actually light in here. Nice. There's some light just hanging around. That's cool. That's really cool. Um... So yeah, let's just get over to the geologist bundle. And let's get the frozen tin here, tear in here. So the bundle is completed. That's nice. Let's get... Ooh, five Omni Geodes. That's cool. And we just have to hand in one golden bar. And that means that we are done. We only have one gold uh, ore. So that's gonna take some time. But it's, it's fine. Uh, the bulletin board is also going to take quite some time if you take a look at what we actually need to hand in. Uh, we're definitely going to do all of this uh, the uh, next uh, year. But for this year we're not actually going to hand uh, in a lot of things for the bulletin board. Just because it's going to take quite some time. Uh, the aquamarine I kind of want to hand in into the museum. Um... The diamonds actually already uh, handed in, handed in, into the museum, so we don't have to hand it in as anymore. Meaning we can actually sell it, and uh, selling a diamond. Now that's where you get your money. That's seriously where you get your money. So let's definitely uh, open it up. Uh, Aquamarine, we're gonna sell. Uh, we're not gonna sell diamond. We are gonna sell jade. We already have. So we're gonna sell. The topaz we're gonna sell, and I kind of want to hand in the quartz since we already have a bunch of quartz, but I'm gonna keep it anyway. Uh, the rest is all gonna stay in my inventory, so let's just head to bed and see what we made. All right, level four combat with a new warrior ring and five extra HP. That's always good. Look at the money we got. Like 750 gold just for the diamond. My god. And the topaz made us 80 bucks. Okay, so that's... So we know where our money is at. But... I think we're gonna get, have to 
end the episode over here. So, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an episode. Anyway guys, I'm going to go. See you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.